Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 22nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out the delete query in SQL. And uh, we're going to first uh, see what the delete query is used for. So as you can see the delete query is used to delete or remove rows or records from a table in your database. And uh, you know we checked out the update query in the last tutorial and I told you guys that in most cases you use the update query with the where clause and uh, you know just like update you use the delete query with the where clause too in most cases unless of course you want to remove all rows or records from your table right and uh, the syntax of the delete query is pretty simple you have uh, just one keyword one new keyword and uh, that is delete right and uh, you put in that and after that you put in the keyword from and then you specify the name of your table and uh, then in case you want to put in your where condition you put in that but that's optional so you know it's not uh, something that you have to put in uh, your query and let's check out an example in the mysql environment to you know get a better uh, grip of things so i've got my workbench and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly execute the select uh, star from employee query and uh, have a look at the data that I have in the table. So I've got quite a lot of rows and you see that, you know, the row with ID 1917 is for the employee Roger whose age is 27 and the email address field and the salary fields, both the fields also have some values. So what if I want to remove this row completely from the table, right? Not just the ID value, of course, you know, the row cannot exist with the ID without the ID value because the ID field is the primary key. But let's say I want to remove the row completely from the table. I don't want to see the row with ID 1917 in the table, right? So how do I do that? I have to use the delete query to do it, right? And uh, let's see how the delete query is going to look like. So I'll type in the keyword delete and uh, then the keyword from then the name of the table which is employee and then on the next line i'll specify you know the condition using the where clause and the condition here is important because if i wouldn't specify it then all the rows from the table would be deleted right and since i just want the row with id 1917 to be removed from the table i have to specify that so the column on which we'll be operating is the id column and uh, the value would be 1917 right and i'll put in the semi and when I press control enter, I see that I don't get any results set, but in the output section, I get the message that the delete query has been successfully executed. So now if I execute the select star statement, I see that in the results set, the ID with 1917, the row with ID 1917 is, is not present in the, in the results set, right? So it has been removed. So th that's about the delete statement. Another way of uh, removing rows, if you, you know, just want to, uh, understand the GUI way of doing things and you want to get things done quickly is that you know you go to a record and you you know select it first you have to select the record right and uh, then you right click and you select delete rows from the menu that you get and uh, when you close your results set you're asked you know whether you want to apply changes or not and if you click on apply then you know the window shows the query that would have to be executed to make the changes that you've uh, made and uh, then if you click on apply you know it tells you that the statements have been executed and then when you click on finish your job's done so now if i would execute the select star statement i would see that the row with id 1916 is also missing right so that's about the delete statement i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already i'll see you in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting and important for sure and uh, take care